in which Allah says, Wa idh qala Musa li fatahu la abrahu hatta abluga majma'a al-bahraini aw amadhiya huquba. Very interesting. And Allah reminds us here, Behold, and he's telling us, do you remember, do you know? When Allah subhan, when Musa alayhi salatu was salam told his, his secretary or his attendant or his companion that traveled with him about going into the middle of the ocean or going in that place where the two seas meet, two arms of the Red Sea, very deep, very spiritual, deep waters too. Yeah, interesting. And then the lesson continues, but you know, I'm looking at the clock. We've got to do a couple of things in 10, 15 minutes. So you go study that on from that verse about the meeting where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told him to go. And he told his attendant. And then the story continues on where Musa alayhi salatu salam went on. And then Allah says, For wajada abda min ibadina. Then he found one of our servants. Very interesting. And he found one, found one of our servants in the middle of where the two streams of this ocean meets. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. He, may, he meets and he met one of our servants that Allah says that he educated that servant and blessed that servant with knowledge direct from Allah. So whole, this, this is an interesting chapter, very long, the whole line. And, and, and those of us who know it, I'm just going to re- refer to it. That's where you had those incidents where Musa والسلام, continued with him. And Khizr who was the servant that the Mufassirin calls, he said, Moses, you can't handle this journey with me. You won't understand. Moses said, yes, man, I will understand. He said, how could you understand what you have no knowledge of? Interesting, eh? How could you understand what you have no knowledge of? And this happens a lot of times. And that's a very interesting thing. It's very hard to explain to someone who have no knowledge of what you're trying to explain to them. That's why when you speak to a doctor, you've got to use medicine. When you speak to a gardener, you use gardening and cultivation. You speak to a lawyer, you try to use some law so he will understand what line you were thinking about. Uh-huh. Moses said, yeah, I would. I would understand. But anyhow, cut a long story short. He said, listen, if you don't, However, do not ask no questions until I explain to you. But that's a very hard thing. A man who doesn't understand something, and a powerful man like Moses, peace be upon him, a prophet with all this responsibility and duty, seeing something wrong and not understanding, how could he stop and keep quiet? And that's where we, we see the whole examples of when they went on this little boat, and Khizr broke a piece of the boat, that some boys gave them a ride on. And Moses was like, hey, how could you break that boat? The people giving us a ride and you're being so unfair, you break the boat? Come on, how could you do that? That's not fair. You are harming them. You're causing inconvenience to them. Khazir alayhi salam says, I see, I told you, don't ask me no questions. You don't understand this. This is spiritual insight. But Moses could only make the decision that he could see. Then they went on again, and he killed a little boy, Kizr alayhi salatu wa salam. Musa alayhi salatu was like, murder? I ran for so many years because I hit a man and he fell down and died. No, murder in front of me? What is this? Crime? How could you do that? Kizr alayhi salatu wa was like, no, 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 no. I told you. That's it. That's it. We're done. We're done. Don't ask me until I explain to you. This is spiritual depth that you don't understand. I have to explain this to you. See the spiritual level of knowledge? Last week we spoke about just knowledge. There is something of depth in knowledge. This is Quran. This is no Kahani and Indian movie and Arab movie and Arab story that some guy wrote or some fake news. This is real thing. 
And then, you know, they went to the place where they, the town and they asked the people for food. The people refused them. And then a wall was falling down in that town. The people asked to put the wall up. Moses, peace be upon them, like, put up the wall for them. They had no hospitality. They were bad hosts. They didn't care about us. Chizir Allah, Salah, son said, done. That's it, that's it. Three times. Halas. I told you, don't ask me no question until I explain. This is deep knowledge of spirituality. You know, for those of us who came late, we were talking of knowledge that we spoke about last week. And then there is a level of spirituality that you may not see, but it's a God-gifted connection. Spirituality of foresight. And then very quickly, please study this chapter. That's why Allah, the Prophet ﷺ tells us to read Surah Kaf every week. Chapter 18. He says, the boat that I broke, that piece, there is a tyrant ruler on the way. Every nice, good-looking, pretty, working boat, he takes it. He sends its pirates and he sees that boat. So I had to put some harm on this boat and make it look a little handicapped so the tyrant would let it go and the boys will have their boat. You couldn't see that, Moses. See, sometimes we don't see. The little boy that he killed, that boy was going to be very harmful, very hazardous for his spiritual parents that he had. And he would have caused great harm to his spiritual parents. Great harm. So Allah wanted to get rid of that boy. Because this is Khizr that Allah sent him and guided him with spiritual knowledge what to do. The wall that they put up, Khizr said, we're going to put up the wall. Whether you agree or not, Moses. He said, but I'll tell you what. These, this, this, below this wall got a treasury that belonged to two orphans. And if this wall falls down, these bad people in this town will take this treasury and deprive these orphans. So when this wall remains up in the right time, Allah will make it happen and they will get their treasures. Spirituality that Musa couldn't see. Go check Surah Kaf, you'll see that.